go. Let's keep the camera in focus this time, okay, babe? As you can see, my bangs are long again. I am a woolly mammoth once again. Yay. Just say it. Just do it. Just stop it. Just do it. Dear Jessica, once again, I have been in a state of self relevation of self-realization, of realizing oneself, of self-discovery? Anyway, long story short, I have figured out something. Man, you were just not up to the task today. On Saturday, I was sick, and I'm not talking like throw up, can't get out of bed, disgusting feeling-ish sick. I was just that kind of sick that you get when you don't really want to do anything. That mopey, uh, I don't want to, nose running kind of sick. And of course when I'm sick, what do I do? I start to think, why did I get sick? What is my purpose for getting sick? Is there any purpose in being sick at all? And in between these really non-consequential questions, I was sleeping all day, sleep, for 23 hours of the day sleep. And when I got up the next morning, I truly felt like I had wasted an entire day. I thought back and absolutely nothing I had done my sick day had benefited me as a human at all. I got entirely too much sleep, I ate entirely too much, I wasn't even thinking coherent thoughts. Not because I couldn't, just because I wouldn't. And then it kind of dawned upon me. That's kind of how I've been living my life up to this point. And I'm not talking my whole life at all. No, I'm talking like, the last couple of months. Actually, I think it goes all the way back to the end of our internship. Once we were done with teaching in schools, you know, they told us that we really didn't have to do anything else until graduation. Yeah, we had a couple of projects we had to do, but that's easy stuff. So ever since then, I've been living this passive lifestyle, the kind of lifestyle where I just sit back and wait for stuff to happen to me. I waited to get an acceptance letter from Trinity. I waited to graduate. I waited to move to North Carolina, and now I'm waiting to go to Ireland. I'm tired of waiting. I want to do something for myself now. I mean, heck, for the last couple of weeks, I've been waiting for Latin to click in my head. It's not gonna happen. And here's the worst part about this whole thing, Jess. For the last month, at least, I've been asking myself what's wrong with me. I haven't been completely who I am because I've been living this passive lifestyle. I've known something's been wrong for about a month now, but it's taken me this long to figure out what it was. I'm tired of just waiting for stuff to happen. I want to be the one to make it happen. I'm just talking about actively preparing myself for what's to come. I feel like in order for this to happen though, I need to set some goals for myself or boundaries. Go boundaries? Boundles? So what I want to do in this video is tell you what I want to change about my life. That way I'll be held to some sort of accountability. But the whole time I'm thinking about all these changes in the back of my mind is passive Megan and she's sitting there going, oh, but it would be so much easier to just sit around and watch TV. So while I'm creating this list, the entire time I'm going to be battling her and changing from a passive Megan point of view to an active Megan point of view. And I'm not talking about voice. So this is what the passive Megan looks like. She wears a backwards cap because pfft, I don't need to put it on straight, who's gonna care? And this is what active Megan looks like. And her hair might be a little messed up from passive Megan, but you know what? It's all gonna get worked out in the wash. Thing one I'm gonna do to change myself from passive to active. I have got to study Latin. It is not clicking in my brain and I have got to get that stuff down before I go to Ireland. So I'm telling you right now that I vow to study at least an hour and a half a day. An hour and a half? That's a little much, don't you think? What's the point? Because you're not even gonna need Latin for real. I mean, you're gonna get over to Ireland and be able to take a class or whatever, so why do you even need to do that now? You really don't need to do that. You're a little too busy for that right now. All right, well, obviously not since I have enough time to watch six episodes of Supernatural in one day, so back off. Things I wanna do to change my life from passive to active, number two. I don't know how successful I'll be with this one, but I need to do it. I want to work out at least 30 minutes every day. I don't care what kind of activity it is, but for 30 minutes every day, I will have the express purpose of strengthening myself. But like, you get enough workout from just doing what you do every day. And think about how sweaty you'll get in that. That's just gross. No one likes a sweaty person. Okay, well, seeing as my job is a sit down at the desk kind of job all day, every day, yes, I do need the exercise. Thing I want to do to change my life from passive to active, number three. Staying on the whole health track, I think I need to eat healthier as well. Healthier lifestyle, more fruits and vegetables, more water. I've been eating way too much junk. And this is another thing that goes all the way back to the end of our internship. There was a time period there where I ate Taco Bell at least three times a week. Cut out Taco Bell? Are you kidding me? That's like the best food in the world. You can just eat anything you want, girl, and it's totally fine. <sighs> Why do I feel like this is gonna be the hardest one for me? 
I love food. Things I'm gonna do to change my life from passive to active. Number four, ignore creatures of world suck. It's really funny in my notes, I meant to put creators, but instead it says creatures, so we're gonna go ahead and stick with that. Several people close to me in vicinity and relation at the moment are creating a lot of world suck. Just negative emotions, negative relationships, just a whole lot of negativity that doesn't need to be there. And I don't know why they're creating it. It seems like it's a hobby or something. It's awful. So my best option right now, I think, is to just ignore them. Remember that I am not a creature of world suck if I choose not to be. So I'm gonna try to ignore all that. Okay, but like, you know that a lot of what they're saying is true. So, I don't know, ignore them? Don't you think that's a little harsh? Just, come on, just listen to them a little bit. Agree with them by all means because everyone knows agreeing is just so much easier than starting an argument with one of these people. That doesn't even deserve to be addressed. No. Things I'm gonna do to change my life from passive to active, number five. Discover a new place every week. Since I've been here in North Carolina, I've gotten a little bit familiar with the area, but I'd really like to know more. There's lots of big cities and lots of things to do around here. I just need to get out and do them. So my goal for now is to discover at least one new place every week. Okay, yeah, but shut up, that one's awesome. It doesn't even have to be argued with. Let's see if I can hold myself to it, eh? By the way, I love how you can still predict what I'm gonna do. Just shows that we're BFFs forever. Forever, yo. <laughs> I think that's it for this week. And I can't wait to see you on Thursday. So see you then. Best wishes.